Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 16th of 2024 is titled Colorful Aurora over New Zealand. So what do we see here? Well, as we've seen in a number of pictures recently, we are seeing some of the aurora and auroral activity occurs primarily when there is a massive ejection. We call it a coronal mass ejection from the sun that sends out particles into space. Now, if that mass ejection happens to be directed in this general direction of Earth, then Particles will stream toward Earth, funnel along Earth's magnetic field lines, and strike the Earth's atmosphere in the general direction of the magnetic poles. And that will give us the auroral activity that we see here. But there's more to it than that. And if we actually have this labeled, we can see a few different things here. First of all, we're looking in the southern hemisphere. So we're looking from New Zealand here. And that means two of the things we see just to the left of center are the Magellanic clouds. Now those are two small satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. And we can see the large and small Magellanic cloud there labeled as LMC and SMC. Now farther to the left, we see what is called an S a SAR arc. And this is actually what we mean by it is a stable auroral red arc. And that is an arc that goes around the whole aurora. And its origin is really something we're not too sure about yet. This is some of the things that have astronomers and other atmospheric scientists have been studying, trying to better understand these. Now, as we look toward the right, we see a few other things, including a meteor right up at the top of the image and the picket fence aurora. Very interesting with its long streams there of the greenish color mixed in with the redder color of the aurora as well. Now, as we look forward further toward the right hand side, we do see the center of our Milky Way and we see our moon and Venus two two of the three brightest objects in the sky. Of course, the only brighter one being our own sun. And finally, off to the far right, we see Steve. Now, what is Steve? Well, Steve stands for strong thermal emission velocity enhancement. So it is related to the aurora, as you might guess from seeing the image here. But you can also see that there's some differences between Steve over there and the other aurora scattered around toward the central portion of the image. So again, like the SAR, arcs, it is something else that we still study and try to learn more about. Now all of these different effects that we see are all related to the auroral activity due to this coronal mass ejection. Now that would not be everything that things like the Magellanic clouds and the Milky Way. And of course, Venus and the moon as well as the meteor are not part of this. But the other different things that we see the different color areas that we see there, including the star arc that we see to the left hand side, the picket fence aurora that we see in the middle, of course, the regular aurora scattered around the image, and even Steve off to the right hand side there are all auroral type activity and associated with those particles streaming out from the large solar storms that occurred this past week. So that was our picture of the day for October 16th of 2024. It was titled Colorful Aurora over New Zealand. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.